Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Jalopy, officially episode number three. I have so much to talk about this game right now because this is going to be a new batch of recordings. And I have found out through the hard way, there is no save system in this game. What that means for me is that every single time I sit down and record a couple of episodes, as we see the uh, <laughs> dead looming over us, apparently. No, I guess this is basically clouds over the sun. I guess it's nighttime. I've done everything in Dresden. I got some sleep. I bought some items. I refueled. There is the border right here. Before we leave, I wanted to show you the Leica shop where you can actually upgrade your um, components to your vehicle over here. So I don't have any enough money for this just yet, but I wanted to show it off at the very least. How you doing there, buddy? Nice glasses. Let's um, check. Is that my wallet? Hey, 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 what's my wallet doing here? Um, this is mine. <laughs> Why did you have my money, my friend? <laughs> Uncle, have you been up to no good over here? Hey, keep this. I don't trust this guy with the glasses. You, um, put that over there, okay? Watch, watch the wallet, Uncle. Okay, that's weird. Um, I came in here to check it out beforehand, so I guess my wallet just remained over here. That would have been pretty bad had we left with my wallet back over here. Alrighty, so this is going to be a way for you to upgrade your components. You could buy more engine parts, you could buy more fuel tanks, etc., etc. Uh, as you can see, I don't think I could afford any of these. We have $78, and this costs $90 for the green engine over here. So, at the moment, we can't really do much over here, unfortunately. So, until we can, I need to find some way to make money, which is probably um, selling stuff from area to area. But that's not a bad idea because you go away. Give, give me my wallet. That's mine, okay? You saw me walk in here with that, actually. You didn't see me walk in with it. It just appeared in here again, naturally. Um, I bought some cigarettes at a 50% discount at the store over there. I have them in my trunk. So I hope we could sell those in another town for a really good profit. I also bought... What else did I buy here? Let's see. I bought cigarettes and I bought... I think, like, there were coffee beans or something at a discount as well. So my idea is we'll take these over to another city, sell them over there for a profit, and hopefully uh, make do pretty well. So let's get on out of here and let's continue with our trip finally over to the border. My god, it's been a long time. I, I love the game so much, believe me. If I didn't enjoy the game, like, it's weird because I don't, have I don't have any idea what I'm doing in this game. Like, if you ask me right now, Falcon, what's the goal? I'd be like, I really don't know. And somehow, even though I don't know what the goal of the game is, I have so much pl fun playing it, which is the reason why I'm over here just kind of like rolling with the punches in terms of, um, you know, save files not working, random crashes. But any other game, I would have given up on it already. But I don't know, something about this game I just enjoy messing around with. Like, it's just so silly, you know? Oh, okay. So, Hungary it is. Or the, not the Hungary, but the border to Hungary, I guess. Let me go ahead and turn on my headlights over here. There we go. Alrighty, Uncle. Uh, I believe my vehicle is fixed, too. I also went ahead and bought a repair kit. Not a weapons repair kit, as I like to call them, but a regular repair kit. Uh, the only thing that needs to be fixed is going to be the the carburetor. I think it's like durability of two or three. Unfortunately, though, I this, the shop in this town had no repair kits for sale. So, oh, snap, son. I have a feeling if these guys check my trunk, they're going to find cigarettes, and it'll be bad. You see this? Like... Are you telling me- oh, wait, 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 are you telling me I could carry everything but the... medicine? Because everything seems fine other than that. That has a strike across it. So if I have any medicine, you guys would pull me over, maybe. Huh. <laughs> I wonder if that's what- I hope I'm reading that correctly. Well, I have no medicine, I have cigarettes, which I was worried about for a second there, but... Maybe they won't stop me. I'm gonna try not to run you over, my friend, but I do believe that the border crossing, for some reason, is this small little goddamn gap over here. Okay, I gotta, like, maneuver myself in here. Guys, I, sh I assure you I'm not drunk. You just give me not too much room to maneuver myself in here. It's kind of a hassle, really. Okay. I think we got it. How you doing there, officer? Papers, please? Oh, that's a video game, too. <laughs> but not right now. It's not a video game right now. This well, technically it is a video game, but it's a video game within the video game. It's kind of weird. There you go. Hey. There you go. These are my papers. Please don't tell me the game crashed already again. The the papers are right here, dude. Do you want me to get out of the car? I can't actually. I'm stuck now. Um, can we just? Uh oh, no, no, not this way. Look, I have them right here. Take them, please. Oh, the window. <laughs> I guess I can't give you the the stuff through the window. Oh, thank God. I for a second I was so worried. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> right, right, I forgot. There's windows, you know, you can't really face through stuff. 
I guess. Ooh, I can mess around with this. Since when? Yeah. I wonder if it actually shows a reflection. Okay, everything seems in order. Cool. Thanks. Can I, I can leave now? Oh, thank God. Uncle! Uncle, we made it! Do we have a route plotted? Or a route plotted, not platted. Not gonna put it on a plate. Yes, we do. So we're going over from Dresden to Storovo today. Oh, good God. Progress! Actual progress. Alrighty, guys. I'm leaving now. Let me just... Turn this on. Turn this on, I said. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Progress! I'm so happy! Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just so excited because every single time that I try to get past this area, I tend to crash randomly as well, so... Right now... We got the papers done, we got through the border, we we're making progress finally, and, I, and I'm so happy about it. So, before I recorded here today, I... I got to Dresden twice today. One time, I got to town, I got everything fixed up, and then for some reason, I put my wallet back in the car, and the game just froze. And I was pissed. And I had to do it again. And la next time I got here, everything was fine except for the fact that what happened the second time? I forgot what happened, but it was an issue. So I have to do it again. This is my third time today recording um, this episode. Well, that was interesting. We'll have more borders to deal with in our journey. Be careful what you try to take over the border. If they find illegal goods, you'll be fine. Oh, so will I get a fine? That's it? Oh, okay. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. Now, I wonder where do you pay your fines? Because I've noticed that, you know, when we get the penalties. So well, I don't have any penalties this time around. I drove really safely over to Dresden. I'm so worried about this game, like, you know crashing over the slightest thing that I am trying to be the most diligent driver of all time. Our next stop will be Staruvo, a border town shared with Hungary. There was a great big bridge there, the Mary Valerie, but it was destroyed during the war. I do hope they have repaired it. Yeah, you and me both. Trying to make sure that we're not going to run into parts of the, the environment here as I'm trying to read this. Okay. Like that? This, for instance, is not good driving. You know, just swaying from road one side of the road to the other one. No, I'm not drunk, officer. Sort of God. I have an inner ear infection. What are you talking about? Can we have, like, picked a, a more difficult road to traverse for this other town? I mean, like, really here? It's like super off-roading action. Okay. Oh, yeah, I also have a crowbar. That's part of the reason why we couldn't upgrade our engine, because I bought a crowbar. So what that means for us now is if we find any of those locked boxes on the road, I'll be able to crack them open, and we hopefully... Oh, good God. What is this? Off-roading shit? You know, the bridge was actually named after Princess Marie Valerie. She was the fort, and it was said, the most beloved child of the Empress Elizabeth. Okay, cool. Elizabeth loved Mary dearly, more so than any other children. Okay, that's fine. Some courtiers remarked on this by referring to her as the only child. This amongst... Dude, look look at the road, and look at what you're telling, asking me to do right now. You guys read, okay? I can't pay attention to what's happening on the screen right now. I mean, I do. I, I have to pay attention to the road, not the, the text down here. But yeah, if we find any locked boxes, we should be able to crack them up with our crowbar. I, I have to imagine that, more than likely, you could use that crowbar multiple times. If you only use it a couple of times and it breaks, like the weapon... No, stop calling the weapon repair kit! Like the repair kit, um, that would be kind of shitty. And it wouldn't make any sense. Then again, not, not much in this game does make sense right now, so it's alright. Thinking about the story... Story, do hope our bridge, unlike Valerie, hasn't severed its ties to Hungary. Uncle, please. If not, I think our journey will have to draw to an end for now. Good. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want it to draw to an end. We're actually making progress for once, which is actually really good. So you need to stop being the omen of bad news over here, Uncle. Okay. I think we're good now. Oh, God. We're out of the off-roading area. Good. Is that a city over there? Oh, please tell me. Oh, it's the Ruval. We're here. If the bridge has been repaired, we can cross into Hungary. Okay, that's the idea. Hey, look, our engine is actually fine. There's nothing uh, breaking down, too. I mean, I have to look under the hood, obviously, but right now it's not smoking up, so that's going to be good. And hey, here we go. Staruble, second city. All right. This is some progress up the ass right now, man. Good. So over here we have the... Is that the Leica shop? Yes, that's the Leica shop to our right-hand side. We have a motel. Do we have to stay over here, Uncle? Like, I don't really want to stay. I don't want to spend more money, man. And that's the border right over there. Do you guys have a shop where I could do some... Oh, yeah, it's right there. That's where the... That's where they fence you. And oh, so last time, remember when I couldn't pick stuff up? Um, it was a bug, but it was triggered because apparently I didn't use the... I didn't pay for the item that um, I bought, or that I initially thought I bought. 
So essentially, they lock you in, but at the same time, if you get locked in, there's an occasional chance where you will bug the game as well, and you can't pick anything up anymore, which is what happened. We couldn't pick shit up anymore, as you remember, so... Um, is that the shop? Uncle. Look, Uncle, I feel like I gotta leave you in here for a while while I go kind of explore. I don't trust, um, the city too much. It's kind of scary in here. Let's turn this off. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? You just watch the car. <laughs> All you have to do is just watch the car, okay? I just want to make sure we could come in through here. I will break the law, and I, I will drive through this little smile if I can. I have no qualms with that. No, this is just a park. Okay, so good thing I didn't come in here. That's the Leica shop. That's the motel. Are you telling me there's no, no shop in this area? That's unfortunate. I mean... I don't think I need fuel right now, but I would love to... Oh, there it is. It's down here. Okay. Ugh. These uh, towns are really desolate here, too, right? This is like the scene of a horror movie, honestly. <laughs> You're just walking around some pixelated, well, actually, like, high-poly world where there's nobody out here other than just soldiers with no faces that just stand there the entire time. This is like a creepy pasta waiting to happen, honestly. All right, let's get in here and close door up. Turn vehicle on. Turn vehicle on. We're almost out of fuel. Wow, we that's actually a really low amount of fuel. But we'll be buying some fuel right now at the, the shop, so that's not a big problem. I'll probably just fill her up from the tank. So let's do this. Assuming we get there before God damn it vehicle. Assuming we get there before uh, we run out of fuel completely. Alright, don't jinx it. We're almost an empty. Just um you know, give me a little bit more longer time to get here, and I will make it. Here it is. We turn. There's my that's my gas pump. Oh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it, Uncle! Okay. Pass it up right here. I wanna be as close as possible to that. Oh! The car just gave out right now because of the fuel. Ha <laughs> ha! Right on time. Alrighty. That was a close one. That was really close, as a matter of fact. Oh my god, we have to clean this vehicle. Look at this off road, look what it did to my vehicle. Alrighty. Um, let's pop this open, pop the hood over here, or the bonnet, as you guys let me know. Falcon, it's not incorrect, that's what, just, that's what you, people call, you know, the hood, a bonnet in other parts of the world, you, you fucking American. It doesn't have to be the hood everywhere else, and I'm like, you know what, you're right. You're absolutely right, that was actually pretty selfish of me to be like, oh, what is this bonnet business all about? Um, alrighty, so... No. Are you telling me I'm too far now? Oh, come on! I'm too far, guys. I can't fill it because I'm too far. Which sucks because I have fuel in the back. Although, you know what I could do? Hold up a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hey. Oh my. Really explicit word come to play. Alright, so we got this here. And... We'll just give it up to like a, a one, you know? Just to, enough to move a little bit. There you go. There you go. Now we could probably move just a little teeny tiny bit. Let's get in here. Okay, we're rolling. I'm gonna drive this way. You think you don't think I can drive this way? Damn right I can. Okay. Just a little bit. Not too much, you know, just close, close enough. I think that should be close enough. Alrighty. Turn it off. Conserve some fuel if you can. Alrighty. Have to go around? Fine, I'll go around. And nighttime is when we start dropping frames. People have been asking me that, uh, that I've uh, acquired this game. They're like, you know, Falcon, how do you keep a decent frame rate? A lot of people are reporting dropping under like 16 to 20s. I'm right now at 35, so like, it just happens randomly. Um, you know, honestly, here's the here's what I want them to work on. Save system number one, and number two, optimization afterwards. I will deal with poor optimization until we can get a good save file here. But save system would be the most ideal thing to begin with. Because even if you crash after you've saved, it's fine because... You see how the gate's closing back there? That is happening because we owe them money now. And they won't open up that, that, that gate until you pay them. What's really weird, though, is that you could actually walk out. So, I mean, they'll probably let you travel on foot. <laughs> Your uncle's basically screwed, but you could travel on foot out of here. I guess there's that option. Okay, so that's fine. I really hope you guys have some repair kits over here for sale, too. If you don't, it might be a problem. Let me go ahead over here and put some of the old oil in here as well. I guess. It doesn't say well optimized, does it? Remember I used to say like lean fuel or whatever? It doesn't say that anymore for some reason. Oh, whatever. So, you back over there. Here's my crowbar, by the way. Yeah. Crowbar that shit up. We got to find the uh, locked boxes, though. 
Oh, no, no, no. I don't. I was trying to pick you up. You go over there. You go over there. The game's really picky about where you place items as well. It's got to be like a specific fucking order. It's like Tetris, honestly. Alrighty, so you're fueled up. Uh, there's water in there. I guess we could probably put a bit more water just to be... It's not the water I was looking for. Just to be on the safe side. There you go. And... My bucket's here. For a second, I thought my bucket... My bucket. My bucket was gone, and... Please, just... You see about the, the placement of items? <laughs> oh, you can't go over there? Why? I'm pretty sure there's plenty of room for you over there, man. Fine. Boom. Oh, come on. Okay. What, are you kidding me? There's enough room right there. This is what I meant. Specifics. Alright, you know what? Just hang out here. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. Let me sell these cigarettes if I can. Ooh. You know what's really cool? I actually bought these cigarettes for $3 and like 30 cents, and now I can sell them for $6.70. I would have bought more, obviously, and sold them for a better price here, but the problem is they only had, like, one cigarette for sale. So, I guess somebody else had the same idea that I did. So, here you go, ma'am. I'm going to sell these to you, okay? So, now I owe you two thirty. That's fine. I will pay you. Don't don't lock me in here. I will definitely pay. Um, oh, God. I'm so happy you have this. I'm going to buy this off of you, too, okay? So, we'll ring it up. Okay. Uh, I think we only need one, but we might need two. We'll see. Let me go get my wallet. I'll, I'll talk to you here pretty soon. Do not lock me in. I don't have any intentions of not paying. Well, fuck you, uncle. <laughs> I just want to grab my wallet. Is that a big issue? Just give me the wallet, dog. There you go. Alrighty. Thanks, uncle. Really helpful guy. Alrighty, so... I should probably roll down his window, too. Huh. You know what? I think about it. I should try to do that. So we have $78 right now. Let me go ahead and pay. So I don't fuck anything up. Alright, cool. This is mine. I've paid. I've paid. You better open that gate back there. Gate is now open. Perfect. So wallet, you go back in vehicle. I like how if you drop the wallet wherever you are, it, go back to, it goes back to your vehicle. I wish it was like that in real life, you know, when you lose shit. If you lose something, it just pops back into your, like, you know, humble boat or something. That'd be great. Alright, so let's um, fix the engine first. One. Oh yeah, we're gonna need more than one of these. Okay. I'm out, and I need... Yeah, I need one more, at least. Jesus. Okay. Kind of really broke. That's the problem. Buy this. Here you go, man. Ring me up. Let's see, any sales over here? Ooh, booze, 50%. Now, the problem is, do the, the hungry or the border at Storavia, do they let you um, smuggle booze? Because if they don't, then it's pointless for me to buy it right now, you know? I feel like there's something missing from my vehicle. Did somebody steal something? No, I think we're fine. Um, okay, so... Oh, yeah, wallet. Oh, fuck. Yo, dog. <laughs> Let me grab the wallet from this side. I'm gonna bring your window down. No? He doesn't want the window down either? Ah, ha, ha, ha! You jerk. Alrighty. Then tell me I can't open the fucking door. There, this is open now. Yeah. How do you like that, uncle? Playing the system to fool you a bit. Alright, here you go, ma'am. I need that. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go find out in the border if I could smuggle booze. If we can smuggle booze, then we'll be fine. We'll buy a couple of these, we'll sell them at the next stop over, and hopefully make some money finally, because we're kind of really broke at the moment. So, you back over there, fix the vehicle. That's fixed, and two. I could. This needs, this needs one more. I I'm wondering if I could just, like, sell the, the, the kid back to her before we spend it all completely, you know? Like, use it up a bit and then sell it. I still have it. Yo, let's try it out. Is the game going to hate the fact that I'm cheating it? I'm not sure. We'll see. So, here we go. Um, I, I want my money back. <gasps> it worked. Well, I got $5 in credit. Cool. How much do you cost? Oh my god, you're kind of expensive. 23, huh? I think I could buy two of you. Now, excuse me, why are you closing the gate if you owe me money? Why, you're, you're such a good Samaritan that you're like, No, sir, I can't leave you until I I, I pay you. Ah, oh, can we smuggle booze? I'll be right back, ma'am. I swear I'll be right back, okay? Just one second. 
I want to make sure that we can smuggle booze here. And if we can, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hit you up. But I need to find this out. It's really important. Hey. Guys, what can, I, what can I smuggle this time around? Oh, I can smuggle anything. Yeah! Okay, cool. We'll, we'll buy some booze. I think we could only afford two bottles of booze if I'm right. So we'll buy those. We'll take them with us. We'll send them over to the next town over. The booze does have a pretty decent uh, value as well. So maybe that'll help us out here a little bit. The fact that I'm buying it just because it's 50%. So, you know, we could easily at least make like a couple of extra bucks off of that. Much like we did with the cigarettes just now. So... I might as well bring my wallet too, because I'm gonna, I know I'm going to owe her a bit of cash here. So... Take that. 46 bucks. I'm broke. Even if I wanted to stay at the hotel, I can't. Oh, man, my tires as well. Oh, <laughs> I didn't consider the tires. Alright, I hope they, they, they hold through. So, um... Ah, oh, fuck. I think the wallet's going to go back. Because it's going to try to sell... It's going to try to give her the, the wallet. Ah, oh, fuck! I hate the system sometimes! Alright, look. This... And this. I owe you 41. Oh, my... God, I'm down a five dollar deuce. Five dollar deuce, and I have to go back out here again for this as well. Yeah. No, that's fine, Uncle. Don't even bother moving. I got everything here. I'm just here to annoy you on the road. That's all I'm here for. All right, there you go, ma'am. Cool. Five dollars left in my name. Oh, this trip is I'm um, doomed. Not much farther we're gonna make it now at this point. So, you are going to come into the trunk somewhere. I'm not sure where you went, but there you are. Um, I would love to clean the vehicle as well, if we can. And let's see, you, you, place there, I guess, crowbar, there, and then you, are you going to like play ball with me finally or no? Are you going to finally play ball or what? Just go somewhere. I think you just took the spot of my, my cleaner. Hope that's not the case. Clean. 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 Okay, cool. Oh, gotta clean you up. Alright, cool. So I'm gonna do the rest of this off-camera, guys. We'll come back next episode, and we will continue with our trip over to... I'm not sure what the next area is. We have to look at our map here. But at least we made some progress, finally. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the thumbs up. I will catch you next time.